Good evening, Eston, ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages. Welcome to www.eston.ca and our Twitter page. We're just doing here, I'm Jonathan Meyer, Economic Development Officer, and with me, special guest, Hollywood Dusty Adonis, here to talk a little bit about PWA Wrestling coming to Eston at the trade show on April 13th. Uh, we're very excited about this, the town's very excited. Uh, some new information has evolved. We've, we sold the show out originally at the about 300 tickets in about a day and a half. Uh, we got 50 more tickets going to be sold at the door, first come, first serve basis. So you can tell everyone in town's excited to see you there, Hollywood. Um, can you tell us a little bit about PWA Wrestling? A lot of the fans, uh, your friends obviously know a lot about what you've been up to for the last few years, but tell, tell the people of Eston uh, a little bit about the PWA Wrestling. Yeah, I started with PWA back in 2005, and uh, well, I guess that's eight or nine years ago now. So. Uh, yeah, PWA has been around, well, 12 years. We just uh, celebrated our 12th anniversary show, and uh, yeah, it's it's going strong. I would say it's probably the number one wrestling organization in Western Canada. And uh, yeah, we're running shows twice a month, once in Calgary and once in Edmonton. And uh, yeah, I've been there a long time, and I've had a lot of success there, and I'm really excited that uh, we're finally making our debut in Saskatchewan, and what better place here than in Eston, my hometown. Being your brother, I obviously know how you got into wrestling, and a lot of your close fans uh, know how you got into wrestling. As you can see in this this room around us, wrestling has pretty much been the center of your universe for the for for your lifetime. But tell everyone, tell everyone, all the fans that are going to be coming out uh, to the Eston Centennial Hall on April 13th. Tell us how you got into wrestling. Yeah, well, uh, ever since I was three years old, or pretty much was what I can remember, I've loved wrestling. And uh, it's just something that, I don't know, I've just pretty much, you could say, I've been obsessed with it. And, uh, yeah, so that's all I ever wanted to do is to be a wrestler. And uh, so, I mean, I mean, I remember just with my friends in the backyard, I always remember manipulating them to become wrestlers. Well, you know, you'd always have to wrestle me, and we'd put on shows. And after I graduated, I moved to Calgary, and I uh, went to well, wrestling school and was trained by... Bad News Brown, he was known as in the uh, WWF, and uh, Bad News Allen in Stampede Wrestling. So he trained me, and then from there I just, you know, became a wrestler and started, well, wrestling. So April 13th, Town of Eston, it, it's not the first time you've been here, but uh, it's the first time since about 2008. Uh, what can the what's it mean to be coming home to fight in front of your family, your friends? You know, a lot of people can't make it to Calgary, Edmonton. What's it mean to be coming home? Well, you know what, this is just one of the <clears throat> biggest thrills of my life, really. It's a true blessing that I get to come home and perform in front of all my friends and family and all the people of the community, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, you know, it's just, it'll be emotional, I think, you know, getting to wrestle and do what I love to do, live my dream out in my hometown. I mean, what more can a, a guy really ask for? Yeah, no, we're all excited, and uh, I mean, obviously the town has spoken. Uh, it sold out very quickly. Uh, what can the fans expect? I mean, uh, you know, we're going to have fans from three years old all the way up to, you know, 63 years old and, and then some. So what, what can the fans expect at yeah. the show on April 13th? Well, you see, the thing is, like, uh, wrestling sometimes has a bad rap, and I and I think it's they just don't really understand it. But the thing with wrestling sets it apart from other entertainment venues like concerts or even sporting events like a hockey game or a football game is the fans are just as much part of the show as the wrestlers I mean the fans really make the show so I mean when you get to come you get to you get to cheer and boo and you get to be a part of the show and then the wrestlers even react to you more and you know you would get more adrenaline and so uh, when you got a good live crowd like I know they were last time in Eston I mean the wrestlers just perform that much better and just do a better job and I think people don't realize you know it's going to a show I mean you could just sit there and be bored or you can get into the action and I think that's what makes it fun and sets it apart from other things and I think uh, the fans of Aston will always do that and uh, I think they'll be they'll be right into the show for sure yeah we certainly want to encourage our fans to be to, you know to bring their voices bring their noise and uh, cheer on the wrestlers uh, who will you be fighting that night at uh, homecoming? Well, his name is Chucky Blaze. Actually, he just changed his name to uh, Michael Richard Blaze, but I've known him for many years, so I'm going to call him Chucky Blaze. And it's a lot easier to say Chucky sucks than Michael sucks. So, yes, he's uh, probably, I have to say, probably the most outstanding talent in the PWA young kid, just 23 years old, but started wrestling at a young age of 16, and is, he's a phenomenon. 
And he's a guy I've probably wrestled eight or nine times and I've never actually beat. So, uh, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous for this fight because I'd hate to lose in my hometown. And so I'm going to have to bring everything I have and have the fans behind me. Uh, yeah, he's a guy that's definitely has a bright future ahead of his. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to need everything I have inside of me that night. And I'm going to need all the fan support behind me to help me win that one. No, that's... that's... We'll certainly be behind you. There's no doubt about that. It was announced last show, uh, and this came out in a press release. I believe you tweeted it uh, late Sunday night. But you, uh, you're going to be the newest inductee into the PWA Hall of Fame. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got there and what that means to you? And uh, you know, uh, being in the Hall of Fame, no matter what, no matter what Hall of Fame you're going into, you must have done something pretty special. Yeah, you know that was. Uh that was big news. Uh, I've been there, I've said, since 2005, and they started the Hall of Fame a few years back, and uh, they've been slowly getting a few guys every year in, and uh, when they, you know, talk, called me and asked me if I wanted to be a part of it, and I was like, absolutely. I mean, I've been in there for a long time, and I've done a lot of, I've had a lot of great memories there, and I've had a lot of classic matches, and been a part of some great storylines, and I've always thought I've been a, a big part of PWA, you know, and I think the fans have always been behind me, whether I'm a, I was a good guy or a bad guy, and uh, just going in there, just, it's a respect thing, you know, it shows that uh, you've done something, you've made a remark, you've made a mark on this business, and, you know, it's touching, so I'm really excited for that. Well, that's great to hear. Uh, once again, this is Hollywood Dusty Adonis, April 13th. He'll be doing the homecoming show, as you see the poster behind us. Any last words to your fans? Uh, anything you want to tell them, or, or uh, just one last chance to get a word out before the show? Yeah, everybody, April 13th, homecoming. It's going to be a great show, and I just just come out and bring a lot of energy. The more energy you have, of course, uh, the fans are just going to be that much more wild. I'm going to need each and every one of you behind me, in my corner, cheering me on in my match against Chucky Blaze because uh, yeah like I said he's a he's a very outstanding opponent and I'm gonna need everybody in that crowd I'm gonna feed off your energy and 